Yeah? Alright, look at this. That was so weak, dude. <laughs> Done to this, uh, dudes. We are the Island Guardians TCG, the 14 best place to find Pokemon TCG and Pokemon content in general. I'm Miguel, and that's Jeff, and today is Monday, which means, Jeff, <laughs> are you, I swear to God, if you didn't put record again, I'd be so upset. It's going. All right, we're good. We're fine. Hold on. Before we start, how many suh dudes does it take to put in a light bulb? How many sus dudes does it take to put on a light bulb? Mm hmm. Like sus from like Among Us? No, like sus. What's sus, dude? Like, uh, is that dude sus? Yeah, like some homies. Homies? How many does it take what to, do you put, mean by that? to change the light bulb? Whatever you think. <laughs> 17? None, because it's already lit, fam. It's Monday! <laughs> this is. <laughs> this is what we do on Monday. We hang out, we talk to each other, let you so guys dumb. get to know a little bit more about us. It may not be Pokemon related, but who cares? It's Monday, this is what we do. Brief rundown of what we do now. Monday, we hang out. Wednesday is a deck update. New mm -hmm. cards, uh, request a deck, a deck we like, we'll go over it. 60 cards, whatever. Friday, we play trivia of some sort against each other to win packs. So hey, stay tuned for that for the rest of the week. But right oh, now, beer packs. Ugh, what are we gambling? Uh, dandy. Well, there you go. You got I some have right there. two packs of Astro Radiance. Why do you got pop packs in your wallet? I don't know. Why don't you? For doing the challenges? Because all you did was check them off. No, Spencer mm. saw me. Uh -huh. Sorry, I earned uh -huh. them. Uh huh. Anyways, I wagered these two packs this week. All right, that's fun. You put them up. Astro Radiance, Lost Origin. We'll compete for these on Friday. How about some trivia questions? Five questions. Like, uh, chat GPT, whatever it's called? No. Some are you smarter than a fifth grader question? Well, definitely. Are you? Probably. I mean, I dropped out in fourth grade, so. You still have my dad right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To the main course. All right. So, Monday, we're doing some more questions. How you doing? We're just hanging out, you know? Okay, Five okay. questions for each other. Let the people get to know us better, and we get to know each other better. Also, more, the FBI. More gooder. More gooder. Yep. The goodest. The goodiest. Goodriest. Goodriest. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, I got a question for you, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run it. Um. So you're pretty big on social media. I mean, uh, you're all over the place. I am. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's how I like to be. I come under the radar guy, but whatever. Nah, I'm not. I love being on the radio. I know. Um, that being said, since your social like social footprint is pretty small, yes. What's one of the cringy, cringiest things you ever posted on social media? One of the cringiest things? I'll tell you this right now because I thought about <laughs> earlier today because I wished one of my friends a happy birthday. So I don't use Facebook anymore because most of the, like I do enjoy Facebook because it prompts me like. Whose birthday it is. I love oh, that. Oh, 100%. So, but I, like, if it's just, like, some random, like, I know from high school, whatever, I'm not going to say it. But if it's a person I know and I have their phone number, I love that it reminds me because I will text them if I have their phone number. Like, yo, dude, happy birthday. Yeah, just so, out. But this, what, that's what made me think of it. It was my, one of my friends Caleb's birthday today, so I told him happy birthday, but then it made me think about how cringy I was back when I first moved here uh, when I was 18, 19, 20, somewhere yeah. in there. Fresh out of high school. Uh, never even looked at a girl, probably. A young I was just a weirdo. <laughs> I was just a freaking weirdo. I still am. But I remember <laughs> specifically <laughs> getting happy birthday wishes yeah. on Facebook. And I was like, man, this, this will make me feel better. I didn't have a lot of friends. I'm like, this will make me feel better. Fresh, at, you know, Kind of fresh out of high school. Like, people are going to remember me. Everybody's nice. You know, happy birthday. I just, I just want a quick something, whatever. Yeah. I remember getting, like, seven birthday wishes <laughs> on Facebook. All right. That just really brought me down. <laughs> but the cringy part was I remembered that I only had seven the next year. I was like, thanks for all the birthday wishes, guys. I'm glad I got 19 this year. That's more than seven from last year. <laughs> I legit wrote it. Dang. That's pretty cringy. That's pretty rough. As like a 20-year-old to be like, yeah, if you guys. That's like, <laughs> I know you're a little lying, but I remember like in high school, the whole like truth this thing. You would yeah. like it. Yeah. I remember this one kid in high school. He posted it almost every Friday, and it'd be like three people, 
his mom, his aunt, and his cousin. Tough. And I almost, I made a, a post and re, re, recorded it, though, like, mm-hmm. how sad is it going to be when you put a truth this is and only three people like it? <laughs> and that, the kid liked it. That's right. Which made me laugh even more. It's like, he's pro- he probably knows. He's like, yeah, yeah it's whatever. <laughs> That's probably, the, weird. that's probably my cringiest thing on social media. I can't believe I'd actually go out and say that. Did you get more likes on that? Or more comments on that? Than yeah, I have no idea. I don't, I don't really want to know. I kind of want to know. So do I now that I brought it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out sometime. We'll figure it out. All right. <laughs> Question number one for you. What you got, big dog? We've probably talked about this a few times, but for the people, how would you spend a $1 million cash prize? Like we're talking lot, we're talking lottery, scratch off tickets, whatever. Boom, it's a million dollars. But obviously, you get this capital gains tax, right? So let's say realistically, say realistically, n- negate that we don't live in that world. You actually give, you've actually been given a million dollars. A briefcase, a million dollars. Yeah, you don't have to worry about getting only like six hundred thousand because of taxes. So Chris, two dollar bills, all of them. <laughs> but what are you spending it on? Hmm, it's a great question, Jeff. And I would like I, to, and I know, like, I know you're a big like buy flip guy, invest kind of. This, how would you spend it all? You got to spend the one million. You can't just like, oh, I'm gonna spend half and keep half. <laughs> spend it all. How you doing it? Hmm. I would probably buy a house near the Pokemon Company. Okay. Just being near the area, I think, it'd be fun. <laughs> what do you think? The house runs over there. It's in Seattle, so it probably won't be cheap. Million bucks. <laughs> but okay. Move next to Kanye. Mm-hmm. I'm sure his house is worth one millions, but... Yeah. Who knows? That's what you do, huh? Build, buy a house. With all of it, outright. <laughs> million bucks. I don't know. I mean, a million dollars is a lot of money, like... You're a bigger thinker than that. You would do something... You would do something more. Oh, 100%. I mean, we said I had to spend it. Yeah, you I can flip it. I can if I had a million dollars, you can flip it, but you okay. gotta, like you gotta spend it. Oh, then I open. Like, I would buy a warehouse. You can't keep any of it. There you go. I'd keep. buy a warehouse. All right. Half of it would be a giant indoor skate park. Nice. So, dudes. So, like <laughs> the old school Tony Hawk, like the air, the hangar. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. Reenact that if I could. Yeah. You know. Okay. It'd be so. People sick. will probably die, but it's okay. You sign a waiver. Yeah, sign a waiver. It's fine. Then the other half, I'd make it to like, like it's like a two store thing. Downstairs would be skate park. Upstairs, like. I don't know, paintball. Okay. Be a um, full activity warehouse. 100%. Some airsoft. Yeah, people want to get shot by BBs, sure, why not? It's better than paintballs. I don't know, I don't play either one. But I'm sure there's a market for either one. Yeah. Airsoft probably a bit more competitive. It is more competitive. Paintball is like, straight up kind of like, I don't know, speedball is like, you know, 6v6, and there's nowhere to like run. It's just like all based upon like, movement and precision, like shooting. Paintballs, I think paintball's kind of lame. I like the tacticalness of Airsoft because the guns are a little bit more realistic and there's a little bit of a differentiation between, like, the equipment that's being used. In a paintball arena, like, mm-hmm. 6v6, everybody's got, like, a, just a wicked gun. And, like, that's it. But, like, Airsoft, you can have grenades. You can have somebody's a sniper. Somebody's a running gun. Somebody's somebody might dual-wield pistols. You never know. Yeah. So I like I like the tacticalness of that. that tie new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So well then, uh, flip it around. I would keep downstairs be airsoft. Because I'm assuming if that's a warehouse, I could have garage doors, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll I put could... them in. I'll put them in for you. Perfect. I would have yep. access to change the terrain once a month, whatever. <sighs> yeah, it'd be sick. You Pull know? out equipment, take it out, bring put some a car stuff in there. In. You know? <laughs> yeah, Who buy, knows? Buy some scrappers. Yeah. Upstairs, bring it all to the skate park. Yeah, that'd be sick. That's what I would do. I'm done. Let's do it. I'm done. Alright, if we ever win a million dollars, this is what we're doing. 100%. Even if I win it, I'll let you in on it. Even if I win it, we'll bring Calvin. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's a good answer. Alright. Hit me up. What do I got for you? Ooh. I got a good one. Celebrities, right? We love them. We hate them. We don't know about them. Um, what's one celebrity you believe should not be a celebrity? <laughs> Bahab Bahabi. Catch me on the side. How about oh, that? That girl? Yeah, 100%. Like, I, I like the... I, I respect the one-hit wonder thing. Yeah. Like, whatever. 
she was a wild child. She was on TV. Cool. We got a, we got a viral video. But now she makes terrible rap music. There's I gotta say, there's no talent there. Yeah. And like you know, I'm not like a rap mastermind. I just know what sounds good and what doesn't. <laughs> and I don't understand how anybody would buy the music. But hey, good for her for like putting it all together and figuring it out. And she set the records on on the OF instantly. Oh, yeah. When she turned 18, bang, lit it up. She got like $6 million, I day think. Day one. In day one. Like between the f- like first 48 hours, six mil. Give me a second to realize how weird that is. Yeah, that's wild. Like, and here's so here here's the weirder part, that she didn't just take a bunch of videos and pictures in one day when she turned eighteen. Yeah. So you know that stuff that was getting looked at was before the age of eighteen, <laughs> because she had to have had an arsenal ready of just material to, to just dump it in there. So that's the part that I don't like, that I don't I don't agree with. I'm all for, I respect the hustle of yeah. a woman. If that's what you want to do, that's great. Do it. Like, that doesn't make me upset at all. If that's yeah. how you want to use your body, go for it. But her to instantly set records, get that much money. Uh, she, he all, these, all these creepy dudes did not register probably what just happened. Well, they register on a list for sure now. <laughs> <laughs> they register on a list. Uh, but yeah, first thought, I'd pick her. I don't think that... Uh, that's a fair choice. She's a celebrity. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, she makes more money than us. Both of us combined in a month. Yeah. She's probably made, gonna make more money than I'll make my whole life. Hopefully not. But you never know. Good chance. Hey guys, boost the ratings. Mom, share with my aunt, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have any friends, oh, but like, man. please, <laughs> just show everybody. Come on. Hey, if you like this, share it. You know, subscribe. Hit the button. You do all the stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's get off those. Let's get off that stuff here. Yeah. All right. Another one. Another one. What do you got? Question number two. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of eternity, what would it be? One meal? Just one meal. I'm torn on this one, dude. It's a tricky one. I don't even know if I could answer it well. I would regret it the next day what I answered. I'm stuck between two. Either sure. tacos, or you get a lot of variety with tacos. So that's a good or pizza. Pizza. It's tricky. Those are two good answers because you can get a taco full of like pepperonis. And you can pop. even have a taco pizza. Yeah. You could have a pizza taco. You can have a BLT pizza. You know. Oof, that's tough. So I can pick a ranch. I agree with both answers. I think. Pizza, because it was the first word I said. Pizza. But it's not necessarily that healthy for you. Does it look like I'm the embodiment of health, bud? Yeah, you are. Oh, no, dude. I strive to look like you. I try to look like you. I want a neck back. All right. <laughs> Good answer. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? No, hey. I'll match that. Quit clicking. If you're a velociraptor, bro. <laughs> Dude, I heard you from across the room at Pokes today. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. when you were like, Dude, I'm about to knock you out. And then Miles goes, whatever, blah, 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 path. And you were just like, hmm. <laughs> and then you're like, what do I do now? <laughs> <coughs> that was funny. Yeah, no, Miles definitely. Gave you Miles the, is a good player. Give me the one-two switcheroo, man. You think you got it on lock? Not with Miles. You got you got you got to play the whole time. <laughs> what I learned with Miles is that I can't show any emotion. Mm-hmm. I have to look at his active card and just be like, "Yeah, he's playing. He's yeah. playing. He's playing." <laughs> you do have a couple tells. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I know I do. I'm horrible at poker. You're like looking at your hand, and somebody attaches an energy or something. You're like, cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. But going off your like food thing, yeah. if you get one condiment for the rest of your life, just one, what would it be? And why is it ranch? <laughs> is it really? My 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 instant was honey mustard. Okay. So I love honey mustard, but I might double down 
for ranch because I feel like ranch goes better on more things. French fries. Honey mustard is also good. Did French fries, honey mustard? Well, mm. Ranch is way better. <sighs> salads? For me, with French fries, 50 50. I don't eat salads, so <clears throat> get that out of here. Um, sandwiches, though. Like some nice honey mustard on a sandwich. Like talking like a deli meat sandwich, honey mustard all Ranch. day long. I would go straight mustard before honey mustard. Dude, mustard is buns. Mustard is terrible. Mustard's so good. It's the worst thing that's ever went in my mouth. Except for lettuce. I was like, mm. Dude, if somebody put mustard on lettuce. I would eat that all day. <sighs> nice crunch. <laughs> Throw up. <laughs> I would, it's just maybe because of my love for it as a child, I would go honey mustard first. But... <laughs> Everybody goes through the whole ranch thing. Ranch hit me in high school. It was like, ranch is the best. Everything. Yeah. Dip your burger in it. Anything. Pizza. French fries. All the good. Your blizzard. Your Dairy Queen blizzard. (laughs) (laughs) Honey mustard. I'll stick with honey mustard. All right. That's weird. It's hard to be wrong. It hits me. It hits me right in there. Your sternum? My heart. Is your heart in the middle of your chest or the left side? (sighs) It's closer to the left side. Hmm, okay. So you're not on the other side. Alright, gotcha. There's a whole thing now that your heart's in the middle of your chest, not to your left side. Well, your body is not perfectly symmetrical. Yes. If you get cut in half, it's not the same. Yeah, my right wrist is bigger than my left one. That's why <laughs> I wear my left one. I'm saying, like, scientifically. Yes. Uh, an- 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 anatomically? Anatomically. With the right word, what's the, what's the science word for like the, the bones? Your anatomy, Anato- yes. anatomically. Sure, it's not anatomically exact. But the fourteen best it doesn't matter. <laughs> you will have more of your heart on the left side, right? So okay, but I don't know. I'm but thinking this, apparently but this is why your body's built like that, though. You get your rib cage to protect your lungs, and your sternum's there to protect your heart because it's right in front of it. It's the hardest part. Mm-hmm. I always thought your chest was in the center, but I grew up my whole life people saying it was more of the left side. Same. But apparently it's not more, it's like in books say it's in the middle. I mean, I would agree. I guess. No, we was growing up and told on the left side. I know, that's weird though. I asked my mom, she's a nurse. Mom, yeah. I know you're behind by like 35 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get to this one, call me. Could it be my mom? Your mom's up to date. Is she a nurse? Yeah, she, no. She tried to be, but she failed. Hey, if you can help us out on this one, let us know. Put it in the comments. Does she know how to put a comment? I think so. She comments on all my photos. Alright, see? Do it on YouTube. We need to see one. Hmm. How did we get under the heart thing? How'd that happen? I don't know, dude. Is I'll it be my honest. turn? My turn for I think it's, it, it might be my turn. I think condiments. You said mustard. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. <laughs> that yeah. mouth. My turn. What is a movie <laughs> slash TV quote that is always stuck in your head forever? Oh, there's a plethora of tears. You got Miles today with the, uh, oh my gosh, this guy stinks, or something like that. Miles yeah. has no idea. 100%. That, that, it's a Spongebob it's thing. Spongebob right? yeah. Miles has no idea. It's but the episode just, where... It was killing him. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny to me, because from across the room, I just, I know. And like yeah. most people probably know, but you can tell by Miles' reaction, he has no idea. He's like, literally like, do I smell? Like, gen- no, genuinely, he was just like... Yeah, it's funny, Miguel. You do kind of stink at this game. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, probably what he thought. Because <laughs> he said, like, a third person, man, this guy stinks. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Um, but anyways, what's it like a... I mean, you say a lot of them, so do I, but... It's my autistic trait, whatever. Your autism, yeah. Um, I like recording things, mimicking things. Mimicking things? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd probably say you're my boy, Blue. A lot more than I care to me. Yeah, you do. I said three times today at work. Hey, my boy Blue. I said to a boy, a guy named Chuck. He's uh sixty four years old. Hey, my boy Blue. Well, Blue is kind of old. <laughs> yeah. No. So. He's like, my name's Chuck, but thank you. <laughs> I was like, you stole my boy Blue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you always greet people with, "What's up, big dog?" Is that from something, or did you just start saying that? So growing up, I've always had a. a <laughs> a, a phrase, I guess, whatever. Yeah, a little catchphrase. Yeah, like, what, amigo? Amigo, they say. Amigo, what's going on? Homie. Yeah. Recently, it's fool. 
What's up, fool? Yeah. What's up, fool? Big dog just feels... You say big dog a lot. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's not, I just wondered if it was from, like, a, a, like you heard it in a movie and you're like, boom, that's my new catchphrase. No. <laughs> no? I guess it's just, in my head, it's kind of funny calling somebody who obviously is a big small, dog. a big dog. A big dog. Yeah. And just seeing their face, like, light up. Yeah, that's true. You give, a little, you give a little, it's a little pig man for some people. Yeah, like there's a guy, an like, intern. Like, this big dog likes me. I'm a big he dog. He called me a big dog. Yeah. I'm the big dog. 1v1 me. Yeah. B word. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Beat. What's, what's another one? You're my boy Blue. What's another one? Hit me with it. Oh, man, you put on the spot right now, dude. Day-to-day scenarios. What are you running to most? What's something like you don't necessarily like say out loud, but something you say in your head all the time? Do you do you repeat? Do you say stuff in your head? Yeah. So if something's funny, I will mimic what I just heard. That's funny three, four times mm-hmm. in your head. As long as it be out loud. Hmm. It's like some just somebody could say it randomly. Yeah. It, like remember? You're like, man, that's I, I funny. Have, I was called out in high school. I was like, uh, this kid. I don't remember his name, but he's like. Miguel, you're such a loser. I was like, Miguel, you're such a loser. Back to him, he's like, are you okay? <laughs> he was like, yeah, it was just funny the way you said it. Oh, so you get, you like the way it's presented, not necessarily the words. Like, you, yeah. like, you like to you like to mimic it, like you said earlier. Yeah, I'm a pair, essentially. Yeah. One of the ones I always, in my, like I was just saying it the other day, and I don't know why, it's in my head all the time, but um, you remember Halloween Town? Yeah. Disney Channel movie? Yeah, yeah. And in the trailer... Whatever the main chick's name is, she goes, Halloween is cool. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly like that? Up here all the time. I guess... I, I think... said it to myself today, for no reason. Halloween is cool. I was just cool. picking up trash at the job site, and I'm like, Halloween is cool. Just in my head, though, like, I didn't say it out loud, but... Stuff like that, like, goes through my head all the time. Like, quotes and things, whatever. I guess it depends on, like, on the mood I'm in. Yeah. Um, I like going woo a lot. Like, Ric Flair. <laughs> In your head, though? No, like, vocally. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's I do the other day at work, and... <laughs> scare some people? <laughs> oh, 100%. Because it's, it's a big factory, but it echoes. Yeah. I, I can get pretty loud. Yeah. I try not to, but... Yeah, you're kind of loud. So you can find you. I can find you in a room. 100%. Not not just because you're sheer size, but... Because <laughs> you're, you're, your mouth. <laughs> that's fair. Um, Number three for me, what you got, man? Ooh. Okay. What is the worst holiday in your opinion? The worst holiday? Yeah. Everyone has a favorite holiday. Do you have a worst holiday? Halloween. Hate it. Stop. It's the worst one? Why? Halloween is not cool. You're not cool. You're tacky I and I hate ne- you. I mean, Halloween's awesome as a kid, right? I guess. Halloween's awesome as a kid. You get yeah. free candy. As a kid, you're like, yes, best day ever. I'm going to stay up all night, get all this candy. I'm going to go to school tomorrow. I'm going to trade candy. We'll talk about where we went. Candy, candy, candy. Love it as a kid. Yeah. But as you grow up, you realize how stupid it is. And then you get to the college phase where, like, Halloween is just dress up and then get messed up. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not my world, man. So what age did you realize you were a corporate sellout? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The age of nine. Oh, my land. I knew I was never going to be a baller. I just think it's ridiculous to see, like... Speak your mind, dude. Say your chest. <laughs> let, let your coconuts hang. I already said... <laughs> so, I mean, as you age, your yeah. opinion develops on things. Yeah, I already sure. said earlier that I think if you're a woman and you want to show your body like that, that's great. Make some money. But, like, when you're in what I- middle school, high school, whatever, yeah. and you're a girl and you're just getting a little skimpy stupid nurse outfit yeah. for Halloween and you don't even like you're not doing you're not doing trick or treating like you're not dressing up like it's that's past the premise of what Halloween is yeah like Halloween is for you dress up you go show off your costume to your neighbors and you say trick or treating they give you candy that's what it is but if you're just gonna dress up and go to a stupid house party and show off to all your friends and try to get some dudes to smack your butt I think it's ridiculous. I've been there. That's cool. I just don't know. I mean, if you <laughs> if you live in that world, that's fine. I just think it's ridiculous. 
That's so that's why Halloween after the age of like 13 12 13 you're just yeah. like whatever I was a skateboarder for like four years in a row and I realized I'm just doing this for candy because they're gonna give it to me anyways yeah and then I realized you know I'm 12 or 13 where I could be doing something more productive with my time than riding my skateboard around and getting candy that's fair like drugs just kidding what do you mean ibuprofen yeah, for my back. <laughs> my back's been messed up since I was like 10, so. <laughs> <laughs> so Halloween's my least favorite. That's fair. Number one, Thanksgiving. All day. I Best. Hate Best Thanksgiving. One. Why? Nothing happens. I mean, Nothing notice. Nothing happens. I'm not really. You're not white? <laughs> yeah. I have no reason ever to celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay. Like, 4th of July, great holiday. I like Thanksgiving because you don't have to, like, appreciate the pilgrims and the Mayflower and all that. Like, yeah, that's what happened. But Thanksgiving is, like, at least for me, I see family members I don't see a lot. Like, I might see them once or twice a year, but Thanksgiving's the best because, like, everybody makes their favorite food. And, like, you have a more, like, a more quality time rather than just, like giving each other gifts like i think thanksgiving outdoes christmas easily because it's not just about like the gifts you're giving people you don't get caught up in like the whole rat race of like giving yeah gifts, buying gifts and just like oh man i'm gonna give my dad this gift and everybody's gonna watch him open there and be like that's sick like you know i don't i'd rather just like eat food together and spend some quality time and then the cowboys always play and lose on thanksgiving. But, uh... no 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 check it check the records <laughs> the cowboys went a lot on thanksgiving okay yeah. I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you, but yeah. What's your least favorite? Mine? Yeah, what's your least favorite holiday? Thanksgiving? Kind of. I'm going to invite you to my next Thanksgiving. All right. Okay. You have to go. Okay. I'm taking you across the state border to Illinois. I will probably be there. Cool. Sick. All right. What's your least favorite holiday? Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Um, There's some kind of lame ones. I mean, I don't know what you consider... A holiday. I'm talking like the big five. Big five, so like Easter, like Easter Christmas, Fourth of July, yeah. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Yeah, there's five. That's yeah. probably the big five. I guess either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Least favorite? Yeah. New Year's is also kind of lame too. I love New Year's. Why? I love dressing up. That why you love Halloween? Yeah. Do you dress up for Halloween? Oh yeah. What are you gonna do this year? You don't know I thought about it. I thought about maybe Maui. You're going to go somewhere for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you never grow old if you never grow up. You're right. I'll just go knock on my neighbor's door and ask for candy. I will. <laughs> I'll come to your house on Halloween at 11 o'clock. This is, how much I, this is how much I don't like Halloween. I've never served candy out of my house. It's you kids. are just a Scrooge, dude. You're the old dude from Up. See, but now now I'm regretting it and I feel sad because I loved getting candy as a kid, but yeah. I've never given out any. But I've also ha- never had like an established home with a family. I mean, it's fair. Pierce Street, them thugs, they don't eat candy. <laughs> Congress Street, we always did stuff on Halloween. Daily's all about the Halloween party thing, so I never had candy out there either. That's fair. But, yeah, no, just being very... uh. Alone here in the state, <laughs> not a yeah. family. So like the holidays, either we travel to them or no one travels with us. It's okay to do the work though. Yeah. All right, we'll get off this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad note. There. Yeah, yeah, really went sad down like that at all. <laughs> all right, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> What's a moment that you know you made your parents proud? It's another sad one. Maybe. You know my parents proud. What's a moment you can think of right now when you know that you made your parents proud? They didn't have to say anything. They didn't have to come up to you and say they're proud that you just knew it. Hmm. It's a great one. Because I can tell you right now, you might tell my dad has told me he's proud of me. It's like five times. Yeah, so you can really count them. I can really. Yeah. So for them to say, never tell me, but I just know they are. Um... (coughs) I 
I think when I went back to school. Okay. This was. Twenty. College. Yeah, college. So I went the first year. Went for a year and a half. Didn't. Do anything. No, I academically <laughs> dismissed actually. Nice. Uh, yeah, I went back. I didn't tell him. I just went back. Oh, you just like saved up your money and then went back to school. Yeah, and then. My mom was like, hey, you coming over for dinner one day? I was like, no, mom, I got class. He's like, what do you mean class? Nice. I went back to school. And she's like, you went back to school? I was oh, like, yeah. yeah, I figured I might as well. You <laughs> know, I'm not really doing much. Like, yeah, no big deal. And she, I remember it was like, well, do you need help with anything? He's like, no, I got it. Nice. And I remember my dad and the next day is like, hey, uh, you doing all right with money? Like, you good? I'm like, yeah. I think so. Why? <laughs> Should I not be good? <laughs> He's like, your mom told me you went to school. I was like, yeah. Nice. Part growing up, yes. That's cool. And then two months later, I dropped out. Oh. <laughs> Darn. But I went back again before COVID. Yeah. I got my degree in communications. Nice. So you did eventually finish. I got it, yeah. When I told him I got it, because they... They received it in the mail. I was like, hey, oh, you got a big, oh, like... they got it, yeah. And they're like, what is this? Like, oh, it's my diploma. I was like, are you... What? You graduated? <laughs> you went back to back to back to school? <laughs> yeah. Um, That's so, cool. Yeah. Probably went there, I guess. So you got to, like, you got to make them proud of you, like, three times in a row for the same thing. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. And then the first time, then you dropped out, they're like, you suck. You went back? Yeah. Oh, you suck. Oh, you finished? Yeah. You didn't tell us? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I like that. Yeah, so school's it. a pretty big thing, yeah. Especially to go off and do it on your own, because most most people work their whole lives, have kids, save money yeah. to send them to college. Like it's all planned. Most people, it's like it's pretty cool to go off and do that, like on your own. And just be like, well, yeah. I mean, I screwed up the first time. Now, if I want to do it, I gotta do it myself. Yeah, I gotta make money and do it. And I will say, like growing up, I don't think. Well, I've never been the school type. Reading for me is just atrocious. Being in the classroom <laughs> yeah. is just like. Yeah, the structure and just like the monotonous teacher. Yes, usually monotone for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just not for me. I'm much more hands-on. Yeah. But I already started. I knew it might help me down the road. Yeah. And I knew my agree. parents wanted me to. C's get degrees, and degrees get you jobs. Usually. Yeah. But like 90% of America, you know, they don't work in the... Job or in the field they got a degree in. No, uh, people just want to see that you went to school and you committed years of your time and passed. That's all they want to know. Yeah, which is crazy. As I like, have friends who are as a kid, teachers. You don't really think that you know who studied to be teachers. Yeah, not one season degree. Yep, yeah. but they're in debt for how many long Forever. years? Forever. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I got a degree Don't in communications. On that. Yeah, we kind of use it in this sense of like marketing or whatever, and just like. Social yeah. media, but like it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't use it. I build jets. Yeah, <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. All right. Next question. <laughs> what do you got? That's you. Oh, going with the uh, the whole movie thing, quoting thing. Who is the best movie villain of all time? <laughs> I can't be like everybody else and say the Joker. Uh, he's not a villain, he's a hero. He's Ledger's Joker, I can't say that. I mean, he's a, he's a villain. Joker's a villain. I mean, in that case, the, the cashier <laughs> from Super Size Me is a villain also. Yeah, that's true. Quit selling us that food. The best villain in a movie. I really liked Hans Gruber from. Die, why Die did I Hard. feel like you were? You're gonna were say that. <laughs> I just think that he did great. That movie all together is great. It's yeah. also a Christmas movie, by the way. It is 100. percent Um, he just does a great job. He really makes you just freaking hate him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Those are the best. The people that can, you know, that that is the goal of being a villain, and it says a lot about an actor. To portray, portray that, that and not care that, like, you know, you gotta take a movie, it's a movie. But he's gonna make millions of people hate him. Yeah. Like, that's the goal. And it worked. So I would probably pick 
that role. There was another one I was thinking of, another movie I was thinking of the other day, with the same effect. Was like, man, that guy really makes you hate him, and it's great. Is it Mr. Candy from Django Unchained? I mean, that was pretty good too. <laughs> though. Uh, to go to Disney Channel route. Yeah. Um, do you ever watch Brink, the roller skating movie? That sounds super familiar. The best Disney Channel movie ever. The roller skating with Team X Blades. And they're like, nah, we ain't, we ain't skating for no, you know, corporation. We're soul skaters. We skate for our own. We don't we don't want your money. We don't want to be sponsored. We do this thing ourselves. Hmm. But there's a guy, his name's Val, and he's like the captain of the X Blades, and he's just a real douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> and so you can maybe pick him on a lighter note. That's the two that come to me. I mean, that's pretty good options. Yeah. Villain, that's it's underlooked. Villains are good. You need villains. You can't have yeah. heroes without villains. I mean, for me... Oh, Paul, I got it. Oh, you got one? I got it. I'm locked in. Who? Mr. Glass from Unbreakable. I've never seen that film. You've never seen Unbreakable? No. All right, let me turn this off. We're about to go watch it. No, I'm serious, though. You're going to need to watch that movie. Isn't it like a part, like a three-part... Trilogy. There are three parts, yeah. So like Shatter. The first one is Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Which is Bruce Willis. Yeah. Who survives the, the train main star? Huh? Who survives the train wreck? Survives the train wreck, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. I don't want to spoil it. I mean, that's fine, a that's lot. Fine, of, that's a lot of people have seen it. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, yeah, either, yeah, fine, but Mr. Glass, he's born with a a bone, a rare bone disease. He's very fragile. That's why the kid, when he was younger, kids called him Mr. Glass. So that's just like what he went by. So yeah. Essentially, you're you know, super villain name. But he, the whole moral of the story is that if there is somebody in the world like him, there's got to be somebody else in the world who's a complete opposite of him. Yeah. So when he realizes that this man is the only man to survive a train wreck, he's like, this has got to be my, my counterpart. My counterpart, and I need, I got to meet him. Like, I got to, like, we got to get together. So yeah, there's that movie, uh, and he's phenomenal. And mm-hmm. it's, it's Samuel L. Jackson. He's in a wheelchair. And he's just like got the crazy villain hair. He wears like a purple trench coat. Like yeah, he's yeah. decked out. Like in very Samuel L. Jackson fashion. Yeah, yeah. And, but and he's like uh, he's a very nice guy. He like pers- you know he manipulates the people around him to do whatever he wants, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. I just got super passionate about that. You did. I love that movie. Oh, all right. I'll check it out. One of my favorite quotes is, "Life does not fit into tiny boxes that are drawn for it." That's like. Because his whole thing is about comic books. Yeah. Because heroes and villains. He mm-hmm. like he lives his life as like comic books. With the same part, his mom used to give him comic books when he was a kid to stop him from playing outside because he used to break his bones all the time. Yeah. So he grew up in the world of heroes and villains, and that's when he thought he became a villain. And then you know he tries to find his counterpart or whatever. But that's one of the quotes he says in the when he's yelling at Bruce Willis. Yeah. All right, I'll check it out. It yeah, sounds. Look at my arms right now. Yeah. No, you. Really? Give myself goosebumps just by talking about the movie. Geeked about it. <laughs> it's great. If you haven't seen it, you just have to. It's just, right. one, it's just one of the ones you got to see. I'll probably watch it this weekend during that class event Sunday. when I'm sleeping. Just watch it together on Sunday. We can hold hands and then we'll take the mattress outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do that, dude. All right, let's do it. Dude, it's a great movie. You're not going to regret it. But yeah, there is three parts. Uh, the next one is Split. Yeah. And then the final one is called Mr. Glass. Um, next question, sir. Who is your first crush? First crush? Yep. Hillary Duff. How old were you? Lizzie McGuire? Yeah. Lizzie McGuire. Oh, my man. <laughs> um, that's when I knew I love white women. For sure. Same. I would say Kimberly. I love all women, sorry. Like from Power Rangers. That was every boy's first crush. But like, when I really realized I liked women. Yeah. You're like, mm. Mm. Give me some of that. Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Um, and also her friend Miranda. Yeah. The block hair. Yeah, they are both pretty cute at the yeah. time. I think that's when I like, yeah. Well, my, uh, I used to always be weird about girls. <laughs> Like it just, I'm shocked. It just makes you bro. feel so awkward as a kid. I don't know. And, like, you want to be, like, kind of secretive about it, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, I would never want, like, I would never once tell my dad, like, 
oh that girl's cute because I just didn't want I didn't want him to make fun of me. You know, like you get razzed when you're a kid, whatever. Like it's it's normal. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to avoid that at all costs. I hated, <laughs> hated that feeling. And uh, so I never once ever told my dad that anybody was attractive. And it's funny that you said Hillary Duff because one time my background on my laptop was Hillary Duff. <laughs> and this was as like a 21 year old. 20, 21 year old, maybe. Yeah. And uh, it's even, it's, it's so stupid, but my dad used to visit me every Friday. Yeah. And I would change my background on my computer off, so see it. off of Hillary Duff. And then one time he showed up when I was still like taking a shower. And then he was in my room already getting our show loaded up that we used to watch together yeah. on, on my laptop. And uh, just walking in, he just minimized the page and he goes, What's this? <laughs> Instantly, he gave me no time to even like, you know. As soon as he heard the door, then it must. Hey, hey, man, what's that? You grow man. Yeah. What's like, up, this? I was like, dude, just turn the show on. <laughs> whatever, dude. Like getting all weird about it. I was like, whatever, dude. She's hot. It's fine. He's like, you finally did it. I'm like, yeah, dude. Move on. Start the show. I'm over it. <laughs> so it's really funny that you said that because that was one of the photos. Or she was one of the people I had as a background, which is just really funny to me that it ended up being the same person. Yeah, no, 100%. These are some great stories. I'm so bummed out, like, 20 people are going to listen to this. (laughs) Oh, man. We got to get big. Keep dreaming. That's all right. We'll get there one day. Hope so. Question number five for me. Hmm. All right, cool. The law opinions people, like us eventually, yeah. have books written about them. Have a what? A book written book, about book. them. Book, book, okay. What would the book written about you be called? Zero to Hero. Zero to Hero. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a little Hercules action? All right. Freaking nerd. King of the nerds. King of the nerds. You're not quite a nerd. I'm the coolest nerd. That's the book. Calvin, the... Calvin wrote the title for me. Did I'm I tell you that story? Mm-mm. When we first started playing Pokemon together, there was only like six or seven oh, of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, dude, Jeff, I just don't get this. I'm like, what? He's like, you're playing Pokemon with us right now. I'm like, yeah. He's like, but you're so cool. <laughs> I'm like, okay. He's like, you're like the coolest nerd that we got out here at the <laughs> store. <laughs> so that would be my book. The coolest nerd. The coolest nerd. Yeah. Shout out Kelvin. That's actually not a bad. My man. A bad title. He's not dead. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean like Pull one for the homie. <laughs> Yeah, the coolest nerd. That's it. That's what I would call it. I am a pr- I am pretty nerdy. Daily likes to describe me that as well because then when people meet me for the first time, it's not what they thought. In, yeah. In, in a nice way. Like, if you describe somebody as a nerd, everybody does it. You probably think they're, like, kind of, like, skinny, scrawny, have glasses. Soft. Softies. Like, never not gonna talk back to you soft spoken a little quiet like whatever like some nerd you know like some nerdy stuff that's what you would think so like a lot of her work friends and people that haven't seen a picture of me yeah and like when she like you know they talk about their husbands they talk about me and then like that's I'm just never what they expect to see yeah like, so like, well, yeah my husband so I don't know well, he she, works with wood well she talks about it all the time like he makes Pokemon videos and like so I mean she's she does not care that we do this at all she loves that I love to do it so so she talks about it and so nobody ever expects to be like are you sure you're the Pokemon guy I'm like yeah <laughs> also I'll school you basketball what up yeah also I'm like 6'2 on a good day they don't expect me to be as tall as I am either or yeah. like you know you said broad chest I'm pretty beefy you know I pick stuff up for a living I still do it yeah, I mean, I don't, so. Cool as a nerd. That's why I'm going to beat you in the gym. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. All right, bonus question. Bonus question, all right. Because I've never asked you, how'd you get that scar on your cheek? Oh, this one? Yeah. So, do you want the real one or the one I tell everybody? <sighs> Both, if you want to share. So, the real ones, I got in a gang fight. Gang fight. Gang, gang. Got a knife. Dang, how long have you been telling that story? Uh, since I can remember. Cool. No, I what happened was, really <laughs> as a kid, mm-hmm. you like to mess around and find out. Yeah. You know? Your dad? People's elbow? No, I wish. Oh, uh, your mom. That's the worst. Gabriella? 
Uh, no, my dad only punched me one time in my life. And he pretty sure bruised some of my ribs. Nice. But the whole face tattoo thing. Uh, maybe face tattoo? Three, or face. Scar. Scar, yeah. Blemish. Beauty mark. Um, I was three years old. Three? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there was a VCR TV. Remember the old school VCR like, Built players? into the TV? Yeah. Yeah. I spent yeah. all my hard-earned dollars to buy my own TV one day with the VCR built in. Pretty cool. Back in the pretty days cool. in the 90s. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty high-tech stuff. Yeah. Um, I remember trying to reach the buttons. Yeah. And I saw a cord. Yanked that cord as hard as I could. Nice. And the TV apparently wasn't on a very stable area. So I just got a full-on bang. And it shattered the glass. Dang it. three cut all over me. If you look over here, my eyebrow. Man. Okay, I see it when you do it, when you raise your eyebrow. Okay, yeah. I see it now. There's, there was a big old gash here. Dang. Gash right here. You got messed up, son. Mm -hmm. Good thing it didn't get in your eyeballs. Yeah. Luckily. Oh, yeah. That's wild, dude. I would have never guessed it. Mm -hmm. well, TV almost killed you at three. You almost weren't here. I got a big head. I'm fine. I'm chilling. Yeah, you're right. You're probably, you're probably just like, damn. <laughs> Screw your TV. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, that was a real bonus question. I've always noticed it. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way. Yeah, I just never asked you. Just never asked you how you go. Yeah, TV. TV. Just got really into that game show. Started leaning in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This. Nice. Okay. No, uh, the whole game fight thing with my buddy Todd is like. So. The anti me. Yeah. Bizarro World Jeff. That's Young Jeff, yeah. He's like, so do you just fight people? Because I used to fight, like... Getting fights. Those who don't know, I love fighting. Even now, I love punching people and being punched by people. Yeah, that's my friend. Don't mess with him. Um, I will break your femur. Not much. <laughs> no, maybe not. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, but we used to get in fights all the time, and I would actually look for fights in college. Yeah. Just because. Just because. The thrill. Because you're that He's like, did oh, someone yeah. cut you? Were you in a game fight? You're right. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. Why not? And then that went on for like a <laughs> for year sure, straight. Why not? <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, dude, Miguel's kind of uh, hardcore." He's like, "I've never yeah. been in a gang fight like that." Yeah, I've taken a baseball bat to the face, but not a knife. <laughs> Dang. Nice. Do I get a bonus question too? Sure, go ahead. What's wrong with my face? Hmm. I do have a scar on my forehead. But yeah. Nothing special. Don't call it on that. I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> on the spot. All right. I already had it written down. Oh, nah, that's fair. Because I always plan ahead. Tim for a loop. Anyways, shout out to our sponsor, <laughs> Rockstar and Monster. Both um, of them. Except for that one. That's a red dye and it's gross. It's, it's alright. It's trash. It's alright. But if you enjoyed this video and us in general, please leave a comment down below that you liked it. A thumbs up maybe. Just something. Say something. What was your favorite part of the video? Did you like Hillary Duff too? Yes. I still do. <laughs> I wasn't asking. Oh. Sorry. She's a beautiful the, woman. Those 20 people out there. She's a wagon. She does have a freaking wagon, man. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. Uh, but yeah, if you liked it, throw some comments. Do something. Show us some love here. This one's a little bit longer than normal. We like hanging out. I yeah. think it's good quality questions here. You can learn a lot about us. Hopefully these blow up someday. I hope so. Make it happen. I'm tired of working. It's all on you guys. Mom, that's you. Kelly, you're behind. I'll forgive you. But, Wednesday. Kelly. That's your mom's name. Yeah. I met her the other day, right? She's behind. Yeah, you met her. Alright, cool. The nice little frail old woman. That was mean. She'll never see it, though. Alright, <laughs> Wednesday, come back. <laughs> Wednesday, check for the deck update. Uh... What are we doing this week? Where are we Monday? just, uh, we just freaking. You know what? Hey, let's do a video on the new pre release set. That Zard everyone's like hyped about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Zard's fine. I guess. We'll look at Zard. I'm not that hyped about it. Whatever. It's overrated. It's dark type. Kind of good. Body's Mew, Body's Gardevoir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mew, I think Mew's dead now. Anyways, check in Wednesday for. <laughs> <laughs> check Wednesday for that. And then Friday, we we'll we'll trivia. Those. Like normal. Anyways, have a good week, everyone. See you Wednesday.